hey, Dr. Jones again. Uh, we'll talk about this point about surgical tags. You're saying what surgical tags? Well, in different surgeries, uh, uh, tracking of different uh, bandages and different things that are used in the surgery are, becomes rather difficult. And so uh, we had a research project at the University Medical Center in Nebraska, University of Nebraska's Medical Center, in which we discussed uh, how to use RFID tags, and then we actually ended up testing them in, different, in a pig surgery to see how it worked in the real world environment. The results were very interesting, and we found that RFID tags will actually work, pass attack technology will actually work in the surgery room. RFID technology can help save lives in the operating room. Traditionally, surgical staff count the number of sponges and instruments before and after an operation to make sure nothing is left inside the patient. Despite this practice, in the U.S. alone, about 1,500 objects are left in surgery patients each year, causing complications and even death. Working with researchers at UNMC, students in the RFID lab at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln find ways to solve this potentially lethal problem. Using an RFID scanner, surgeons can quickly locate tagged sponges in the patient's body. It's a cutting-edge use of RFID technology.